too. Okay, let's celebrate a toast now to the Japanese as we get set for the Cherry Blossom Festival. Andrew Stover, wine director from Washington's Oye Restaurant, says the key is to think pink, and he is here now. Let's get started. Yes. All of the restaurants, not just yours, are taking part right. in this. A festival. number of restaurants are taking part in a program called Cherry Picks. It's sponsored by the Cherry Blossom Festival and the Washington Convention and Tourism Corporation. So if you go on the Cherry Blossom Festival's website, nationalcherryblossomfestival.org, you can check out what other restaurants are offering. There's tasty cherry treats, mm -hmm. desserts, uh, cuisine inspired with cherries, and also libations. Pink with libations. Right. Let's start with this Blossom Teeny. Blossom Teeny. This is one of the cocktails we're doing at Oya. It is a cherry flavored cocktail made with True North Cherry Vodka, which uh, is from Grand Traverse Distillery, and you're probably Traverse wondering... Traverse City, Michigan. Right. Why Michigan and vodka? Well, Michigan, um, because Michigan is known for its National Cherry Festival for the fruit. So that? I was trying to tie something into the National Cherry Blossom Festival, because we celebrate the blossoms, and they celebrate the fruit. How about that? So that's fun. Um, we this. also have a flight of three rosé wines, mm. pink. Um, these are fun. This is a sparkling Malbec from Argentina. This is a Shiraz Rosé from uh, Australia. Australia, and that is a Syrah Rosé from Napa Valley. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so you can do good. all three of those in a lineup. Try that. Yes. Sure. And those would be good with sushi because, again, mm -hmm. um, these are light wines. They're not very heavy. They're surf chilled. And that one's bubbly. And that's what you said, is that a lot of people associate sushi. you got to drink sake, sake. but right. you're saying no. wine is the way to right. go. Wine is sometimes the way to go. I mean, we have an extensive sake program at Oya, but I tend to prefer wine. I'm just, I'm a wine guy. Mm -hmm. um, that's my training, and that's wine what connoisseur. I prefer. <laughs> right, exactly. So I wanted to show you guys a couple wines that would be good with sushi. Uh -huh. um, I brought a Spanish wine called Chocolate. Chocolate is a very light, fresh white. It's traditionally dry drink with seafood in the Basque region of Spain. I also brought a really cool wine from Michigan. About 30 seconds. Uh, Traverse City, uh, Pinot Gris. Michigan again. There it is again. It's a fresh, <laughs> crisp white. Now, if you can't find these specific wines in another restaurant or your favorite wine shop, I always tell people to look for very fresh, very crisp whites mm -hmm. that are not too aromatic. All right. Andrew, great, thank thanks. you. I'm sorry we've run that's out of okay. time, but that is a great sampling. And that's this morning's Nine News Now. The next news is at noon with JC and Kim out at the field. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow.